All right, college students, parents, administrators, you need to be aware. As students take out billions of dollars in loans for college, they need to be on the lookout for fraudsters scheming to steal some of that cash. Certified financial planner Nahum Daniels joins us here with five of the top scams targeting college students. Thank you so much for joining My us pleasure. this morning. All right, so why do you think college students are being targeted? You know, uh, it's for many of them the very first time that they're out of the nest and uh, they're not prepared and scammers know that so that they're really targets all right so let's talk about some of the scams the major one that we're seeing is there a trend here yes there are about five major scams the first one of course believe it or not is the student tax scam where the team get phone calls from imposters claiming that they owe a tax to the IRS and that they should wire the money as soon as possible oh, no. or they're going to get in trouble. They should, of course, never wire money and should, of course, ignore such calls. And then another one I know is popular, even for high school kids, credit card frauds. They are inundated with uh, offers for pre-approved credit cards, never file that paperwork, never send that paperwork in with all the confidential information, um, only do business with uh, accredited credit card companies, uh, and only direct. And then also, you know, there's always an issue about housing, talking about renting apartments, because no matter where you go to school, there's always an off-campus housing option. <laughs> always. So when off-campus housing comes up, never accept an offer over, the, over email uh, to tie up what looks like a terrific apartment for a very low rent, because often there is no apartment and that rent is going to disappear into the ether. Yeah, there goes that money. So you have to be in the apartment talking to the landlord before you make any deals. All right, and then also, what do you mean by friendly fraud? That's a little quote that we should yes, look out for. Yes, friendly fraud is something that you have to be very aware of because you're in that dorm room. Uh, people start to get very relaxed, and people are coming in and out of the dorm room. You're just making friends. You don't really know who they are. We tend to be trusting. You have to be very careful about leaving your confidential information, social security numbers, bank account numbers, uh, open because you never know who that new friend may be. Maybe you should leave those important documents at home. Best to leave away. them at home. All right, Name Daniels, thank you so much. We're gonna help you get the word out there and have everything that he said to look out for, all the scams, on our website, that's pix11.com.